Hello and welcome back everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this episode of SAP Business Technology Platform Training, I have shown all of you how to work with Cloud Foundry security. We have secured our Spring JP application with O Data Service through Cloud Foundry security. For that, we have added all the dependencies which are required to create a Spring security into our POM XML. Then we added also a security module to our Cloud Foundry application with the with the Spring security. And now we are stopping the access of O Data Service considering this role. As a next step, we have also created a backing service with Access UAA. Just to remind you, Access UAA stands for User Account and Authorization Component, which is an important component in Cloud Foundry responsible for communicating to identity provider. And then issues the JWT token to our application, which has the scopes inside. So we went ahead and we created a backing service, and then we made this backing service dependent on our Cloud Foundry microservice using Java. Then what it does is now whenever I try to access my Cloud Foundry service, it is going to give me a error into the browser. So if I go back and try to access the same, you can see now I get 401 error in the browser. In our last episode, we were able to access this service, but once I deploy it with Access UAA backing service, it stops the access with Spring Security. Now to access this, we went ahead and we obtained the JWT token through the call through the manual call a post call to our access UAA component which issues a JWT token. I copied this JWT token and I went to our microservice and passed this JWT token to my application. Once I do that and then I try to access my application service you can see it's absolutely working fine in the postman. So this whole process we manually navigated through and then we talked about how can we automate this process using application router? In the application router, I have explained you the basic concept of application router with the real life banking example. When you visit a bank, what happens behind the scene? How different microservices or different services are offered by the bank? And how do you get access to these services through the token machine where you obtain the token? We have seen this whole process with the real world banking example. So it makes your life easy to understand this complex Cloud Foundry concept. So we have understood this whole process, understood the role of app router, understood the role of access UAA in the whole process, how the tokens are being exchanged. And we've also realized it in our example with our OData service offered by Spring Boot. In our next episode, I'm going to implement the app router using Node.js. Those who are very beginner with Node.js, I'm going to cover complete Node.js end-to-end -end introduction as part of this training on SAP Cloud Foundry. So this was a demo. This was just an overview of what we covered in this section. For more complete detailed training on SAP Business Technology Platform, please subscribe our course on anubavtrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next session.